reviewing Big John's Eatery in West Palm Beach, Florida. Fresh off the jet, I'm hungry. This was one of the highest recommended joints and this better be good, all right? This better be good. I spent over $70 to purchase the most popular items on the menu. Let's see what it's hitting on. First on the list, we have the Peace Cobbler French Toast. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, this is a must try right here. This is busting. So for the price of $16, they give you five thick pieces of bread and they top it off with peaches. But that ain't the best part. There's actually a peach glaze that goes over the top too. A nice, smooth, peachy, sweet glaze. On top of that, it looks like what appears to be cookie crumbles. Oatmeal cookie crumbles. <laughs> I'm telling you this right here, problem. This is the chicken and waffles. She told me I had to get the red velvet, so I got the red velvet. Chicken. Not sorry. Texture-wise, chicken is busting. I just wish I could taste a little bit more of the honey butter in this bitch. Seems like whoever tossed these was just tired or, or just lazy as f But had these been tossed right, these would've been busting. Red velvet waffle. Okay. So this red velvet is probably one of the better ones I've had in the past. You can actually taste the hint of cocoa in this bitch. And it's also topped with powdered sugar and some type of, some type of glaze. Vanilla bean glaze maybe, but it's pretty good. Chicken tinnies red velvet. Mm -hmm. Nice stimulating combination. Here we have biscuits and gravy. I really don't know what to try first, but I guess I'll try the, the biscuit. Mmm. Damn, this is good. But I give you two big biscuits. And let me tell you, they are huge. I almost thought they gave me a piece of cake up in this mug, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna complain though. It's thick and fluffy on the inside. The outside has a has a nice crust to it. I'm not really a fan of my biscuits having crust. I like my biscuits light and fluffy. But these right here, I'm gonna have to reconsider. Add a little gravy on that bit. Man. Even balance of seasoning, and it also has a slight kick to it. One thing about me, I love my women. I mean my biscuits and, and gravy. I gotta try these eggs. So the eggs are almost like a almost like a custard. They're extremely oily, fluffy. And I do taste cheese in it too. This right here might be better than my mama's. I ain't gonna lie to you. Biscuit. Ooh, yes. Extra gravy. This right here gonna make you smack the hell out of somebody. I not even care about the consequences. Last but most certainly not least, we got the oxtails and grits. I've never had oxtails and grits before. Didn't even know that was a thing. Oxtails foist. Oxtails are right. So this is actually stewed oxtails over grits. Carrots and scallions and onions. The oxtails were slow braised for sure. Very rare do you find oxtails that are seasoned down to the bone like this. This is probably one of the better ones too. Grits. They pretty good too. Woo! This was this was an experience. I ain't gonna lie. If you ever in West Palm Beach, Florida, check this place out.